My low dopamine mornings are not full of things that are unachievable. More than likely, you have these things right in front of you. At the very least, you have yourself. I found myself craving things and doings that did the opposite of triggering intense dopamine releases. My body, my mind, my soul was just itching for something that was calmer, easier, and more fulfilling. Instead of chasing fake dopamine, I chase myself. I chase the sun. I chase movement. I chase nourishment. I chase connection. I chase creation. And I feel more of myself than I ever have. I love moving my body in a way that feels good to me. Lately, that's been looking like lots of running, yoga, Pilates, and stretching. When I first got into fitness, it was mainly for aesthetic reasons, I'm not going to lie. And while I did have fun in the beginning, I found myself unsatisfied, dreading my workouts. And then I decided to switch it up and do something different because what's the point if I don't feel good in the process? While I do love running and Pilates right now, I'm not attached to these types of movements or afraid to change as the seasons of my life change. Wholesome nourishment is so important during every part of the day, but especially in the mornings because I feel like it just sets the tone for the day. Sometimes I'll be in my feelings. I'll be wanting to feed my heart and not my stomach. And most of the times it's processed foods that I'm craving when I want to feed my emotions with food. I'm not going to lie, the processed foods, the sugar goes off in the moment. But in the long run, I end up feeling worse than I did before, feeling bloated, sadder, and overall just not feeling like myself. I love to intentionally follow the 80-20 rule because I never want to restrict myself, but it is highly noted that when I'm eating high vibrational, colorful, wholesome foods, I feel my absolute best. Proper nourishment has always been a huge part of just my wellness and self-care routine, especially since it plays such an essential role when it comes to maintaining healthy dopamine levels. I try my best to get most of my nutrients and vitamins and minerals through healthy, wholesome food, but <laughs> I slip up, I'm not perfect. So I count on multivitamins and herbs to supplement any gaps that I may have in my diet. One thing I can say for me personally it can get overwhelming and frustrating with so many options. My vitamins cabinet is filled to the roof with so many, I can't, and it, it's too much. I've been taking grooms for about a couple of weeks now and grooms, you got my heart. <laughs> no kidding, I have never ever looked forward to taking my vitamins in the morning. Honestly, it feels like I'm eating candy, like candy for breakfast. And that's crazy to say because these only have three grams of added sugar. I'm an absolute snob when it comes to my vitamins, my supplements, and just in general, what I'm putting in my body. So of course you already know, Grooms is made with high quality and natural ingredients. Oh, and in case you haven't heard of Grooms, Grooms is a convenient, comprehensive formula packed into eight gummies a day. It's not a multivitamin, it's not a greens powder, and it's not a probiotic. It's all of those things and then some at the fraction of the price. I'm not gonna lie, I already had a bag today and it's taking everything in me, not to get enough. That's dangerous. It's dangerous. <laughs> Eight gummies are included in each daily pack because you just can't fit the amount of nutrients that grooms provide into just one gummy. This pack contains 20 plus vitamins and minerals and over 60 whole food ingredients. These are vegan, nut-free, dairy-free, and gluten-free. And like I said before, it only contains three grams of added sugar, but they also do have a no sugar option as well. I love these so much. Honestly, it's time for me to get some more because my bag is gone. But if you need you some too, you can get up to 45% off at the link in my description. Thank you grooms for sponsoring this portion of today's video. I do my best. It doesn't always happen as perfect as I'd like it to, but I do my best to stay off my phones in the mornings because so many reasons. One of the main reasons being that I sometimes am looking to escape myself and not feel what it actually is that I need to feel. So I unconsciously try to make myself better by scrolling <laughs> and fill the void inside of me with external factors. Crazy because I always end up feeling worse. I end up being sad, comparing myself, filling up my mind with 
the lives and doings of others before I even had a chance to check in with myself. And I think I finally have learned my lesson. Instead of scrolling, I love to breathe. Just simply breathe. Thank the universe for existing, for my breath, for all that I have to be happy for. I love to write whatever's on my mind, whether it be a brain dump, stream of consciousness, or notes. Writing has always been something that is close to my heart. And of course, I love reading. All of these things don't happen every single morning, but they happen every single week in an effort to not unconsciously scroll and do whatever it is that I do on my phone in the mornings. I work from home and I made a promise to myself a little while ago that I'm gonna get dressed. I'm gonna look cute. I'm gonna put on a little lip liner because I used to be like, who are you getting dressed for? No one's going to see you, but I'm going to see me. <laughs> and I just feel so good about myself. I feel good about how I look. I feel more confident and I feel ready to show up and do what I need to do that day. And I usually end up leaving the house anyway, depending on the type of work that I'm doing that day. Rest assured, I'm gonna find a way to get my daily dose of sun and vitamin D. Uh, I just love nature so much. And it genuinely does allow me to have healthy dopamine levels. There is something about being outside, reading a book in nature, or just simply being grounded in nature that is so therapeutic, the sound of the birds, the wind, other people's conversations, the feel of earth, of nature kissing my skin. It's a feeling that is unfuckwittable. So I'll always find a way to be in nature as long as she'll have me. Yeah, that's my current morning routine. Take from this what resonates, what fits into your life, and leave what doesn't. As always, I appreciate you for being here and for spending time with me. Thank you again to Groons for sponsoring today's video. And if you feel inclined, don't forget to check the link in the description box to get up to 45% off your order. I love you. Mwah.